talking about vitality today, vitality in the spine, vitality in the mind, everything we do today adding to our vitality. And that starts with a positive mind, right? Limitless liberation. So I thought I'd start in with the Asatoma Sad Gamaya Mantra towards limitless liberation. It means lead me from darkness to light, from ignorance to truth, and from my sense of limitation to limitless liberation. You might know it if you've practiced here at Devana Yoga with us before or online with me before. We'll start out with one long OM together. Let's take an exhale first. Inhale deeply. Now OM. OM. So let's take the mantra line by line. OM Asatoma Sadgamaya. Chant that line with me. OM. Asatoma Sagamaya. Good. Next line. Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya. Together. Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya. Last one. Mrityoraha Mritam Gamaya. Together. All right, now we want to chant it all the way through. Let's try. Om Asatoma Satgamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya one more. Om Asatoma Sadgamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityoraha Mritam Gamaya And we'll add with Om Shanti 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 together. Om Shanti 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 That'll give us some vitality to start. All right, and then we're going to release the hands. What we're going to practice today for our pranayama is inhaling and then exhaling by closing the right nostril, exhaling to the left, then inhale natural, exhale right side, closing off left side, inhale, exhale left. You can give a little bit of a press back, not too deep, just a little bit of a press back of the belly button to the spine as you exhale emulating sneezing. Want to give it a try? So let's inhale, close off the right nostril, inhale, no holds, close off left nostril, good, inhale, giving ourselves a little more vitality, left nostril open, inhale, right nostril, Inhale, left, inhale, right, inhale, left, inhale, right, one more round, inhale, left, inhale, right. Good. Close your eyes a moment and visualize all of that energy clearing away the lower chakras, all the energy that you've just created in your body and see like a light going up the spine, clearing the passageways, clearing the nadis, the energy channels. Visualize beautiful light. Rising, 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 rising. 
releasing any stuckness down below. Leading us to enlightenment, to illumination, to great vitality. Quoting from Anne Wigmore, your health is what you make of it. Everything you do and think either adds to your vitality, your energy and your spirit that you possess or takes away from it. So how you visualize that light going up, how you visualize this pranayama working for you to give you more vitality makes a difference. Let's try it again. So we're going to exhale through the left first. Inhale, closing off the right. Inhale, closing off left. Inhale, close off right, breathe out the left. Inhale, right side, inhale, left, inhale, right, inhale, left, inhale, right, inhale, left, inhale, right, inhale, left, one more round, inhale, right, inhale, let's end after the left, close the eyes, bring the hands down, arms are active, legs are active, chin is in towards the throat, visualize energy and light rising from the base of the spine, up through the spine, the column. Your spine must be very, very straight for this to not create blockages. Lifting, lifting, lifting. A little higher each day, each time. Each step of the way, bringing light up. Good. And release. We have one more round. Hope you're feeling a little lighter and a little taller, a little more vital and energetic. So we're going to take a great big inhale here. Exhale it through the left. Inhale. Exhale right. Inhale. Left. Inhale. Right. Inhale. Left. Inhale, right, inhale, left, inhale, right, two more rounds, inhale, left, inhale, right, inhale, left, inhale, right. One more round, left, right, inhale, exhale. Now, take a great big slow inhale from the base of the spine. Remember, everything we do adds to the vitality or takes away from it, from the base of the spine to the top of the head. Take a great big inhale. Hold the inhale at the top of the head. Holding three, two, one, exhale. Great work. Feeling that your whole body is full of vital energy, of light, of positivity, and that everything you're going to do in this next practice is going to increase that vitality. Okay, so we're going to start in Vajrasana. And Vajrasana can be tricky for those of us with limited knee flexion. So you can sit on a block if you'd like, or you can put a block above your heels to sit. Otherwise, sitting right on the heels, find a nice straight spine. Pull the chin in towards the throat. This is Vajrasana. And what it means is fantastic. It means lightning bolts. So imagine you're a lightning bolt 
sitting in this pose, right? So lots of energy coming from your toes and going through your legs, up through the seat, up through the spine, up through the shoulders, out through the fingers, up through the top of the head. Every time you inhale, bring that energy up. And as you exhale, take that same energy and bring it down through the body. We're here for eight breaths. You are a lightning bolt. Nothing is impossible for you today. Long inhales and long exhales. Maybe you can add samavriti, same inhale to exhale. Four more breaths, really visualize it. Remember everything you do can add to your vitality or take away from the vitality that you possess. Every thought, every action, every visualization. Take one more big breath. Get your spine a little taller, head a little higher. Excellent. And then open the eyes. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, twist your belly right, ribs right, heart right, head right, all the way right. Now here, we're going to just Take the exhale, press back. It can be light and easy, especially if you have a history of epilepsy, vertigo, um, high blood pressure, extra pressure in the body, gastric acid buildup. So just go slow and gentle like this. If you don't, go a little stronger. Here we go. Good, inhale, head comes forward, shoulders come forward, rest of body forward. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, twist your belly left, ribs left, heart left, head left, hand on the outside of the right leg. Lift the spine as tall as you can and choose if you're gonna go slow and soft or strong and powerful and fast even. Breathe in, begin. Inhale, head comes forward, shoulders come forward, rest of body. Let's try to get on the right side. I'm going for about 20, but I'm going rather swiftly. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist your belly right, ribs right, heart right, head right. You decide. If you feel dizzy, go very slow or switch to ujjayi. Breathe in, begin. Head comes forward, shoulders come forward, rest of body, breathe in, reach arms up. Exhale, twist to your left. Take a big breath in, prepare, and begin. Inhale, head comes forward, reach your arms up this time, put your hands behind the head, Vajrasana last round, elbows reaching back, this is Kapalabhati, try to keep the chin in towards the throat, light engagement of Mula Bandha, okay, and again, slow and easy or strong and fast, your choice, I'm going for 20, mine are a little swift.
Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold, balasana. Forehead comes down. Pull your chin in towards the throat. Pull your belly button in towards the spine and up towards the heart. Mula Bandha engage, hands back to the feet, Maha Mudra. One more breath. And inhale, lift the head. Great work. And take your bottom off to the left. Take your feet around to the front. So in this next sequence of lifting and lowering the bottom, you might want to have your fingers out to the sides. It's a little bit easier on the shoulders and the wrists. If you get tired, you can also bring your forearms down and lift here, okay? So if you have cranky wrists, make a modification, please. Otherwise, fingers facing back, pull the shoulder blades back, spread the toes. On your inhale, you rise. And exhale, lower the bottom down to approximately the same place. Inhale, rise, two, three, Four, five, see if you can go to six. Exhale, lower down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Big inhale, six. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have three more. Inhale, one, two, three. Change your arms if you need. Six, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two more, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Getting great vitality through the chest and shoulders. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Vital arms, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, exhale, bring your bottom towards your heels this time. Good, give yourself a nice stretch, pull your knees together, lift your heart, inhale for six, exhale, ujjayi breath for six, slight constriction in the throat. Four more breaths, inhale. It's okay to put your elbows down. Exhale. Three more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Two more breaths. Inhale for the count of six. Squeezing the shoulder blades. Keep your body active. Exhale for six. One more breath, inhale for six. And exhale for six. Excellent. And take your fingers facing them forward. Give a good stretch of the spine. Bring your bottom back a little bit more and take your fingers facing out for parabrisas or windshield wipers. Drop the knees left. And right, giving your sciatic area a nice massage. Glutes get a good massage. This helps to release fascia through the legs, and the glutes. Give yourself a nice massage today. Okay, waking up the low back. Excellent work. Now, take your feet behind you and take your one block. You can put a blanket under your knees if you'd like for this lateral flexion. We're gonna have our hands on the block and walk our block as far away as possible. 
and stretch the heart down towards the floor. Giving ourselves a mild back bend here. One more breath. Now to get that lateral flexion, you notice my bottom is not even touching the heels. It doesn't have to touch the heels. You can walk your right block now over to the right. Keep it on medium or even on high if you'd like to get a little more stretch and feel the lateral flexion as you bend to your right, curving the spine to the right like a half moon. Left side opening beautifully. Left lung is so happy right now, it's so vital. Awake, aware, alive. One more breath. And come back to the center and all the way to the left. Stretch to the left. Right side getting a beautiful vital opening. One more breath. Lovely. And then come all the way forward and remove your block. Take your hands down, all fours. Tuck your toes, lift your knees, downward facing dog. Stretch your arms, lift your tailbone, activate the legs. One more breath. Now look forward and walk forward. You can take your block with you. We're gonna practice sun stretches. You might want to have it there. Inhale, lift your torso halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift the torso halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Next time, bend the knees, stick the bottom out. Hands to your hips, inhale, rise with a nice straight back. All right, sun stretch. Inhale, lift the arms high. Exhale, you can bend your knees, stick your bottom out, forward fold. Hands can go to the block or the floor. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend your knees if you need, stick out your bottom or straight legs, reach up. Exhale, chin comes in, spine is straight. Five more, inhale for a total of six. Exhale, it's okay to bend the knees still. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale. Can you count to your breath? Inhale. Exhale. Four more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reach up like you're really reaching for the sun for all that beautiful vital energy. Exhale, you're spreading that energy all around you. Inhale, add the visualization. Reach up, grab the sun's energy. Exhale, spread it all around you, down into the earth. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
in x last one inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale reach up exhale tadasana samastitihi ready for action standing tall pulling the chin in starting to feel a little warmth in the body one more breath Now we're going to practice a lunge and some twisting. Twisting, you can never do enough twisting when we're talking about vitality for the spine. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, bend the knees, stick out the bottom, forward fold. Grab your block and please step your left foot back. Left knee down, it can be on a blanket if you'd like. Your block is up to the inside of your right foot. Inhale, lift the left arm nice and high. And then exhale, twist your belly right, ribs right, heart right, arm comes on the outside of the leg. Hands press, right hand presses against the left hand, gazing up, five breaths. Count your inhale and exhale, make them even. Four, five, or six, maybe. Take one more breath of your own count. Don't lay on the thigh, lift away from the thigh. And then inhale, head comes forward, shoulders, rest of body. Bring your left knee a little bit closer so you've got a nice 90 degree angle here. Right hand down on the inside of the right leg. Press your arm against the leg and the leg against the arm. Inhale, lift your left arm as high as you can. If you'd like, you could bring it behind you. You could even take a bind if you'd like. Otherwise, lifting. Pressing, keep the press going on between the leg and the arm. Good isometric contraction, creating vitality. This is breath three. Four. Five, and bring it down or undo your bind if you had one. Left toes tucked down. Right hand is at the sacrum. I'm sorry, left hand is at the sacrum, right arm is high. Lift your heart. So maybe you can find some extension here. You can lift up a little bit higher, or you can slide your left hand down your thigh, maybe even back to your heel. Four more breaths. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. One more breath. And release the pose. Let's take the block to the front and stretch your knee down. Take a little child's pose here. Stretch it out, stretch the spine. Feel the length of the spine. Breathe into your tailbone, breathing out the fingers. Feel the breath go all the way from the tailbone through the fingers and then breathe out through your fingers. Really stretch the spine. Good, inhale, lift the head. Step the left foot forward this time. And your right leg can be back a little bit to give you more stretch in the psoas area. You'll take your block, put it to the inside of the left foot. Inhale, lift the right arm high. Exhale, twist your belly left, ribs left, 
heart left, and then finally the head. When your heart goes left, you can bring the arm over. Go slow through your spiral. I'm gonna press your right arm on the outside of the thigh, not the knee, be careful of the knee, and lift your torso away from the thigh. Don't lay down on it. Feel the energy of the leg and the arm pressing against one another, creating beautiful vitality. Take one more big breath. Excellent, bring the head forward first. Shoulders, undo the bind, rest of body. Bring your right knee closer so it's right under the hip. Left hand down, press the arm and the leg firmly against one another. Keep that energy going. Inhale, open to the right. Many options with the arm. You can have your hand on your hip. Behind you, you can take a bind, but keep the squeeze going. Even if you're binding, you're pressing your leg in towards the arm and the arm towards the leg. Squeeze them towards one another. Really reach from that squeeze. Make that your solid base as you lift. Keep reaching. Don't give up the reach and don't give up the press. Take one more breath. Now bring the head down. Shoulders, rest of body. Tuck your right toe down, right hand to sacrum, left arm high. Square the hips to the front. Lift your heart a little bit higher. Option to take it back, back, back. Three more breaths. We're staying a little longer in the back bend. Back bends create great vitality. They're the most energizing practices you can take. Make sure you're lifting your heart sufficiently. You're not feeling it in the low back. Be cautious. Be aware. One more breath. And head comes back, body, and remove your block. Slowly take yourself to the center. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, forward fold. Again, inhale, lift, exhale, forward fold. We have warrior one next, bend the knees, hands to the waist, come up for a nice straight spine. All right, facing the one end of your mat, we're going to take our feet wide like they're on railroad tracks and step back with your left foot like it's on a railroad track. Right knee is just over the ankle, just above the ankle, not in front of. Knee is facing the same direction as the toes. Spread your toes and suck up some yummy energy from the earth. You have banda, you have energy lock in your feet, padabanda it's called. Pull up some energy through your legs. Not just the front one, don't forget the back one. Lift, lift, lift. When you feel vitalized, inhale, reach your arms up. Anyway, here, 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 here. Five breaths, count your breaths on the inhale and the exhale. Wherever you are with your arms, give it your all, right? Spread your fingers. Really reach if your arms are above your head. Don't give up. Keep internally spiraling both legs, each leg rolling in towards one another. One more breath. Now, see if you can lift your heels. Ooh. Keep that vitality through the rest of the body. Lift your heels, three breaths. One more breath. And release the hands and the heels. Step forward. Okay, let's try the other side. Right foot will step back this time. Right foot steps back. 
Again, spread the toes, lift the arches, squeeze the thighs towards one another as they internally rotate. Slight turn back of the pelvis so you lengthen the tailbone. Mula band is engaged, pelvic center is lifted. Good. Inhale, reach up to wherever you'd like your arms, but animo, do it with soul. Really reach. Two more breaths. One more breath. Good work. And release. And step forward. All right, now we're going to face the side of our mat. You might want to bring your block with you. So we're going to face the long end of the mat. I put my block in the center. Prasarita Palotnasana. Toes are slightly in and the heels are slightly out. We're going to have two forward folds, one holding on to the hips, then we'll take one behind with our hands behind our back. Pull your elbows back, lengthen again the tailbone so it's not sticking out too far. Lengthen the tailbone, chin in towards the throat, lift the crown of the head, squeeze the legs, inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, forward fold. As far as you can go, keeping your hands on your elbows. See if you can pull your uh, hands on your waist. Sorry, keep, see if you can pull your elbows together. Squeeze the legs, keep them active. Keep lifting the arches of the feet. One more breath. Now inhale, rise. Exhale, release the hands. Take the hands behind you, interlace your fingers or you can hold on to your elbows if you'd like. So you wanna interlace your fingers first, then pull the elbows together and then straighten the arms. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, forward fold, nice straight spine. Chin comes in towards the throat. Five breaths. Squeeze the legs, lift the arches. Animo. Gaze at the navel. Two more breaths. One more breath. Everything is done to increase our vitality. Inhale, keep your hands interlaced, standing all the way up. Pull the shoulder blades together, lift the heart. Ah, relax the hands. Next time we're going to walk our hands forward and take a twist. So let's bring our arms up. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, forward fold, straight spine, swan dive down. Now, walk your hands forward. Maybe you want to use your block to give you a little more lift here. And the block is in front of the forehead. Now, when I do that, sometimes my hips want to follow. I'm going to stretch my hips back and encourage my spine to be as long as possible. Right hand on top of left. Inhale, open through the right. Squeeze your legs, lift your arches, spread your toes, breathe deep. Five big breaths. Ooh, jai breath. Three more breaths. Really reach. One more breath. And on the exhale, bring it down. We're gonna take that again soon and we're gonna try it a little bit deeper. Left hand now on top of the right hand. Inhale with the spine as long as you can. Stretch your tailbone back, looking up to the left hand and beyond it. One. Inhaling and exhaling, second breath. Third. Fourth. 
four. and bring it down. Now we're going to try to take the upper hand behind us and press the opposite hip away. I'll show you. So we're going to inhale. You can watch me first, reaching the right arm up. Then we're going to take the right hand on the back and to the left thigh and press it back. Maybe your hand doesn't reach to the thigh. So you can just press back through your sacrum. Press your right hand on the sacrum and press your hips back. Ready? Here we go. So again, spine is long. Inhale, open to the right. Exhale, hand on sacrum, pressing the sacrum back or all the way to the left thigh. Pressing the left thigh back. Five breaths. Beautiful twist for vitality. Keep pushing away from the floor with your left arm. Two more breaths. Like you're making your spine longer. One more breath. And release. Right hand comes down. It's in front of the forehead. Left hand's on top now. Inhale, open to the left. Take your left hand behind you. Tuck it into the thigh or on the sacrum. Press it back. Keep gazing up. Two more breaths. One more breath. And the head comes down. Hands come down. Slowly walk your feet back to the front of your mat. All right. Left foot steps back. Carefully square your hips and lift your hips. High lunge. Left heel high, turn your gaze up. Three more breaths. We're heading into our balance pose. Two more breaths. One more breath. Roll the right hip back, left hip forward. And hands to the heart, lean forward 45 degrees and then Hop your left foot forward or in one step, stand up, five breaths. Hands can be anywhere you'd like, out to the side, reaching back, reaching forward. Extend through both sides, through the crown of the head and through the back foot. Feel the energy shooting out both directions and coming in from both directions. One more breath. Good, and set it down. Oh, all right, other side. Right foot steps back, heel is high. Square the hips, roll the left hip back a little bit. You can bend your back knee, tilt your pelvis into the correct position so you have a nice long spine, and then straighten the leg. It's like putting on a parking brake. And then slowly lift your arms. Breathe, reach. High lunge, lift your hips. Two more breaths. One more breath. Bring your hands to your heart. Extend forward. And you might want to bring your hands back now, or you can bring them back later or keep them at the heart. Really feel the energy coming in through the right heel now, all the way through the spine, out through the head, and the opposite breath coming in through the head, going out through the heel. Two more breaths. One more breath. And bend the left knee, stepping back to the front. Inhale, lift your heart. Give yourself a nice stretch and exhale. Bend the knees, forward fold. Take it down to the floor, knees down, child's pose, balasana. Hands back towards the feet, five breaths.
One more breath. Inhale, lifting to the head. All right. For our back bends, we're going to take a little half Vajrasana here. So we're going to step the right foot forward and the bottom on the floor. Now, again, if that's not possible because of knee flexion issues, tight hips, you can sit on a block. Looks like this. So my heel is on the outside of the bottom, okay? And we're going to lift from here, block or no block. So on the inhale, lift. Feel a nice stretch through your quadricep on the left side. Beautiful stretch through the heart. That feels too intense on the wrists. You can come down or turn your fingers out. Take three more breaths. Two more breaths. One more big breath. And lower the bottom. Okay, let's take the right leg behind us. Maybe you wanna let the left leg go first if it feels tight on your knees. Left heel is in alignment with right knee. And you're not sitting on your right heel. Trying to sit on the inside of it. That's a half virasana, I should say. So your fingers are facing back. Pull the shoulder blades back. You can stay here or lift. Five big breaths. Stretch your right hip bone forward. Feel that each of your toes on your left foot are like plugs in the earth wall. Bringing energy into the body. Two more breaths. One more breath. And bring it down. Take the right leg forward. Again, parabrisas, windshield wipers, rock side to side. Excellent work. All right. And then we're just simply going today to put our bottom on a block. If you need something more shoulder stand, head stand, you can do that. I'm going to have my head on the blanket and the block under the bottom. So I'm going to lay down first, then place the block under the sacrum. Pull the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a nice stretch in the low back. And not only are we going to lift the legs, but we're going to stretch the legs over our torso just a little bit. Get the counter pose to that back bend. Stretch the legs over the torso just a bit. If you want, you can just stretch the upper legs, bending the knees. Give it a really nice stretch, straightening the legs if you can. One more breath. And then stretch your legs to the sky, bottom on a block or a book or a very strong pillow perhaps. Press your legs up like you mean it, like you're holding up the roof. Your legs should be very active and strong. Take five more breaths. Visualize the vitality in the legs so everywhere you go today will have that vital energy. One more breath. Keep pressing up through the heels. And bend the knees, soles of the feet are on the floor. Remove the block, laying down. Bring the knees in towards the chest, holding on to the shins or the ankles. Rock side to side.
We're bringing the knees in towards the chest, lower the knees to the left, really close to the chest. Bring your arm on the outer right thigh and give yourself a nice twist here, last twist. Gazing to the right. Two more breaths. One more breath. And then release your left arm, bringing the knees up, turning your head to the center, take your knees right and look left. Right hand comes on the outside of the left thigh. Two more breaths. One more breath. And then bring the knees up to the center. Squeeze your legs in and lift your head to your knees. Take a big inhale. Hold the inhale and squeeze your toes, your fingers, your face, your bottom, your belly. Squeeze everything you've got. Hold the inhale. Three, two, one. Exhale, let everything go to the floor. <sighs> Hmm. Now, a little pranayama. Inhale from your left toe with light, starting at the left toe, the light of vital energy. Inhale up through the left leg, all the way up through the left side body, left arm, hands, all the way into the left nostril, up through the center of the eyebrows to the left side of the head. Exhale down the right side of the head, right nostril, through the right side of the throat, right shoulder, arm, hand, side body, hip, right leg, toes. Inhale all the way up the right side, feel each part. Get all the way to the top of the head, don't forget the nostrils. And exhale down the left. One more round, inhale up the left. Exhale down the right. Inhaling up the right. Exhale down the left. Now breathe in through the central channel from the toes to the top of the head, right through the spinal column. And breathe out from the top of the head down to the feet. And then let go of the breath. Let your breath be natural. Feel the vital energy inside of you the potentiality. Feel it like a light growing. Growing bigger and bigger from the core of your being out through the outer limbs. See that energy expanding wider and wider. 
to a great big circle of energy, vital energy all around you, this positive vitality. And coming back into this space together. Notice all the wonderful places that are supporting you in your reclined pose, in your repose. Your hands are being supported, your head, your back, your bottom, heels. Start to move your limbs, outer limbs, most distal limbs first, your toes, your fingers, and your wrists and your ankles. Then bring your knees in towards your chest and rock side to side. And for more vitality, the, today we'll go to the left. Rolling onto your left side, let your left arm be under your head. Activating the right nasal reflex, your sun side, your active side of your body. And then opening the eyes, bring your right hand down just in front of the heart, press yourself to a seat. Maybe you want to sit on your block for closing chants. Tall spine, neck is long. Attitude is positive. Hands to the heart center. Exhale all the air. Inhale for Om Shanti 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 with me, please. Om Shanti Shanti. Shanti. It's been an honor to lead your practice. Thank you for allowing me to. Om Shanti. <laughs>